Good morning, everyone. Nurse Mike here, self-proclaimed world heavyweight champion of nurses, coming at you again. Uh, I am a week and a day post-op from my vertical sleeve gastrectomy. Uh, I'm feeling great. Um, no pain, you know. Uh, gas pain's pretty much gone. Uh, incisional pain is, is non-existent, really, which is great. Um, and I don't say that uh, because, you know, I've um, got a great pain tolerance. Uh, people uh, react to pain differently. Uh, mine is, is uh, non-existent. Um, I feel good. <sighs> I'm getting about, I, I think it's about 500 calories a day in, uh, which is crazy to think. Um, you know, I think that, that uh, all, the, all the studies and, and things say, oh, you should get 1,200 to 1,800 to 2,100 calories a day um, to lose weight. I don't care. Um, the thing about that, so I'm, I'm having one protein shake throughout the course of a day. That's the way my physician has recommended it. Uh, it's basically um, two or three scoops of the protein powder into one big shake, uh, and you split that up into three or four ounce servings three times a day. Um, I'm also getting, uh, trying to get a lot of fluid in, and that's really the most important thing. I started at 32 ounces of uh, water. Um, I'm able to, to up that a lot. I try to do at least three ounces an hour, um, which this is what three ounces is, by the way. Uh, I got these hmm, delicious. I got these uh, little cups on Amazon. It was like 10 bucks for like a million of them, uh, whatever. But they're great because you don't have to measure anything. You just pour into this, three ounces, have a nice day. Um, so I'm up to about 40, 45 ounces of fluid a day. And uh, I... Um, uh, I'm trying to, to up it a little bit each day, um, which is it, not really a problem. The great thing about this, uh, and I'm also, I'm sorry, I babble a little, but I'm also having um, yogurt. Um, my doctor recommended, you know, fat-free, plain, or vanilla, uh, non-fat, either Greek or plain, you know, regular yogurt. Um, but two, ta two to three tablespoons at a time, two to three times a day. What I will say about that. If your physician gave you paperwork about your bariatric procedure, read it. Um, I skimmed it. I looked over it left and right. Um, I thought it was, you know, one protein shake with one scoop all day. No, it's two to three scoops of the protein. So you get your 60 to 80 grams of protein a day. I thought it was two to three spoonfuls of yogurt a day. No, it's two to three spoonfuls two to three times a day if you're hungry. Um, these are things that are important, especially when you're not eating. If I'm not eating and I can have a little bit of yogurt at this point, and granted, I'm only a week out. Um, so you, you got you to gotta read it. You got to know or talk to your doctor. You got to know what you're allowed. Um, it's funny. Uh, I have a friend who went through the procedure, and she says that after the surgery, she didn't want anything. She wasn't hungry. She didn't want anything. She didn't crave anything. I find myself um, craving salt, uh, and it makes sense. I'm drinking water. I'm having sweet um, protein shakes, chocolate or vanilla. I'm having yogurt, which I put cinnamon in, which makes it a little sweeter. So everything I'm doing is sweet. So I'm watching Food Network. Why is beyond me. I don't know why the hell I'm watching Food Network. Uh, and I find myself craving salty. Um, I notice that Guy Fieri goes to a lot of really yummy places that serve really yummy salty things. Um, the funny thing is, I know that if I tried any of that, uh, it would kill me. My stomach would explode and I'd die. So, uh, and the funny thing is, I'm not hungry. That's the thing. And this is the big thing that I think all of us deal with. And that's the concept of head hunger. Um, I'm not hungry. My body is telling me I am not hungry. I crave those things because I see them and I know what they taste like. And that's the way I ate. You know, having a giant pastrami sandwich with a meatball sub, with a gallon of ice cream, with some chips. These were normal to my way of eating. So I have, you know, a year uh, of recovery, basically, to get the concept of healthy eating down. Um, the good thing is that my body knows I'm not hungry, and I need to listen to that. And we all need to listen to our bodies. Most of us are not actually hungry. I don't care what you think. You're not actually hungry, okay? Your body's maintaining. Now, you, you, look, you may be different from me. You may be starving. Uh, fine. What are you going to tell me? Uh, 
I'm not. And I need to remember that. I need to listen to my body and know that this is head hunger more than anything else. Um, and head hunger is basically the concept of, ooh, I want that. That looks really good. I want that cheeseburger. You don't want that cheeseburger. The brain wants that cheeseburger. Your heart wants that cheeseburger. Your stomach does not want that cheeseburger. So, uh, you know, I, I get by and, and if I see those things and if I think about those things, I have a little more water. You know, I have an ice pop. I have a little yogurt. You know, it's fine. And I, and I fill up very quickly. Um, and I'm good. And uh, I got no complaints. You know, I, uh, I'm a volunteer firefighter. I'm, a, I'm an EMT, obviously. I'm also a nurse. We know that. Uh, so Monday is our Memorial Day Parade, and I'm hoping to be a part of that. I uh, probably won't march, but maybe I'll ride in the truck, uh, which is fun. But uh, all in all, things are good. Obviously, I'm, I'm sitting outside. This is my backyard. I think I'm pretty lucky in that respect that, that I can hang out outside in an environment like this. I'm not in the forest, and I see the trees. But uh, things are good. I, I got no complaints right now. All is going well. And uh, I'll talk to you guys next time. Stay safe.